in Northern California. But in the nation's heartland, drones are being put to work for more honourable causes, ones which can help farmers see green. Drones are helping farmers manage their crops more efficiently by gathering data and real-time information from up in the sky. Jeff Flock joins us live from one such farm in Cambridge, Illinois. Jeff. Ashley, normally you have to get right out in the field like this and hike the field. And I tell you, you look at this field, we had a lot of problems out here this year. Look at that, that's mold on the ground here. There's so much moisture. I dig down, you still got plenty of moisture and consequently the crops are stunted. Well, take a look at how farmers are seeing this damage without having to hike out in the fields and actually see it much more completely. This through the use of drones now. And you got no problems with approval because the drones are flying over your land. You, you don't need to approve that. No, that's great. We can actually see the good and the bad and, and the ugly out here, really. Spe speaking of ugly, I just want to come right down here right now because from the ground you can see that a lot of your corn, look at that, that that's a pretty nasty looking piece of corn right there. Yeah, that one's not going to amount to an awful lot. And there's a lot more of it out here than what we realize. Take me, Clayton, back into there where you got some better stuff. Uh, prices today, Ashley, if you look at corn at the CME, almost over $4 for the, uh, for the December contract. That's because in addition to too much moisture, we're now getting drying in a lot of places and not enough moisture in places. It, it is. You know, it's been a, quite a year. We, we did have all that rain in the springtime and and it affected the crop and now that's a good looking ear right there. that's an awesome ear i'd take a, a whole field of those but you know there's a lot of places jeff that don't have it's not that good i was going to say so that's the thing ashley even though some because of the moisture some has done really remarkably well others not so much we're going to start seeing movement in prices today like today we're seeing major movement in prices in soybeans too so keep an eye on that and jeff what kind of difference has the drone you know the 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 information they gather from drones how how, does it save them money? Does it save them time? How, how important are the drones? Tell me again, uh, Clayton, how the drone saves you money, because what does it do? Well, it gives us marketing options where we know whether we've got a good crop to sell or an average crop to sell. They can sell. go out, and if they, if they see that they've got a good field, they can mm. go ahead and forward contract that and make some money on it. If they see it's bad, then they got to hold back and say, wait a minute, I don't have enough crop here to sell. So it's a big marketing tool for them. Yeah, very cool indeed. Jeff Flock down among the mold of a cornfield in oh. Cambridge, Illinois. Jeff, as always, great stuff. Thank you so much.